By faith Abraham, when he was called by God, obeyed by going to a place which he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he lived as a foreigner in the promised land, as in a strange land, living in tents as nomads with Isaac and Jacob, who were fellow heirs of the same promise. For he was waiting expectantly and confidently, looking forward to the city which has foundations, an eternal heavenly city, whose architect and builder is God. Stop. Okay. These are some significant verses concerning our father Abraham in terms of what he was looking for. In his life of faith. Now. There are a number of saints in the land. Who have given over themselves to an abundance of idolatry. Covetousness. And their whole motive for serving the Lord Jesus Christ has to do with the temporal life. And so, the Lord, of course, has a temporal area of supply for his people. But the scriptures tell us to set our affections on things above, not on things on the earth. And this is what Abraham is doing. Mm -hmm. Not only Abraham, but Isaac and Jacob mm -hmm. and so forth. They were looking for, reverse 10. For he was waiting expectantly and confidently looking forward to the city which has foundations an eternal heavenly city whose architect and builder is God. Now, is that what you're looking for? Well, let me let me let me ask this question. You know, we we you know we believe, we have believed that Abraham was looking for Canaan. That was the promised land. We read here that it was done. No. The land that he was looking for is the place where we all want to go when we leave these bodies. What Abraham was looking for is what we, who are saints in this day, mm -hmm. are looking for. We're looking for, read it again. The whole ten? Yeah. For he was waiting expectantly and confidently looking forward to the city which has foundations, an eternal heavenly city whose architect and builder is God. All right. So that's what he's looking for. Are you looking for that today, O saint of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Do you have your affection set? On things above, not on things on the earth. Remember, you are dead and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, return. Then shall we, we then shall we re appear with him. And Gloria, you, you, do you see the object of faith in these verses? Abraham is looking forward to the reward of a heavenly city. Mm -hmm. 
that's what Abraham mm -hmm. was looking for. And if you're not looking for that, that's bad. bad. You need to repent and set your affections on things above. Next verse. By faith, even Sarah herself received the ability to conceive a child, even when she was long past the normal age for it, because she considered him who had given her the promise to be reliable and true to his word. So from one man, though he was physically as good as dead, was born as many descendants as the stars of heaven in number and innumerable as the sand on the seashore. Yeah, and this is Abraham and Sarah. Mm -hmm. They uh, conceived uh, seed and uh, Isaac was born and so on. All right, next verse. All these died in faith. Stop. All these. All these. All these who? Let me just finish talking. Yeah, all these are just finished talking about. Keep going. All these died in faith, guided and sustained by it, without receiving the tangible fulfillment of God's promises, only having seen, been, only having seen, anticipated them, and having welcomed them from a distance and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. All right, stop right there. What promise were they looking for? That heavenly... That heavenly city. Not made by him. Not made by him. Okay, so they were looking for that. They did not receive it in their lifetime. Okay. Has any person of faith received the heavenly city uh, at this time no. okay when are they going to receive it at his return there is only one period of time available to receive that heavenly city and that's at the return of Christ and of course Christ has not come yet so what I'm suggesting here is that Abraham Sarah, Isaac, no, no, all of these mm -hmm. that died in faith. You can't include Enoch in there because he was taken; he didn't die. But the point that's being made here is that the faith talked about in Hebrews eleven is a cosmic. It deals with serving the Lord God to receive a reward that can only be given out by the Lord Jesus Christ at his second coming. 